Hey internet, welcome back to part 6 of Inversion of Genesis. Let us continue. It has been a hectic day. Been trying to work around uh, family commitments, trying to work around other things in real life. Alright, let us finish this quest. Okay, I was actually closer using the other teleport. Sure, okay. Hopefully I can get all this done. Before tomorrow, because tomorrow's the update for 3.4. I'm happy about it, but at the same time... It means I'll be... I won't be able to do things. I still haven't finished, like, my 100% area exploration, so I need to get every chest as well. What should we eat first? Hmm. Is this internal monologue? Why are they so stingy with uh, uh, the traveler's voice actress and or voice actor? <clears throat> what is it? Have you figured it all out? Excuse me, boss. There seems to be a small problem with the last bill. Look, here. Hey! Hey, wait! Hmm? You mean me? No, not you. That kid! Didn't you see? Little rascal grabbed my last two fresh sunsetias and ran off. Look, if you're gonna help out here, you can't keep spacing out, okay? What is it? The work's too boring for you? Or has the big city got too many distractions? I wasn't paying close enough attention. Sorry, boss. I think you're right. Maybe it's the city. It's so exciting. It can be hard to focus. Who's that guy? You know him or something? He's who? You're a strange one, kiddo. You say you don't want any money for helping out here, and then when I actually give you some work to do, you keep letting yourself get distracted. I don't want to take advantage, so I'm happy to pay you what I'd pay anyone else. But if you keep acting like this, pretty soon I won't be able to afford to. The man's working for free. No, no, please. I mean it. You don't need to pay me anything. I'm just so thankful you agreed to take on an outsider like- You're welcome, I guess. But I got bigger things to worry about. Look, we're all out of Sunsetias, and I promised the lady down the street I'd deliver a fruit bowl this evening. I'll leave it to me. I'll find some more. Stop. I'm gonna level with you, kiddo. I've never met a worker who said they didn't want a wage before. And at first, I got greedy. Couldn't believe my luck. But I figured you'd start asking for something in return eventually. You don't want money. You don't take days off, and in your free time, all I see you do is wander around, taking in the sights. Are you a... a drifter or something? That's right, I am. Uh, we can talk more about that later. First, let me get those fruits you needed. Sunsetius, was it? Uh, hey, what do we do now? Okay, stay out of sight. Oh no, another stealth mission. Yeah, 
This'll do. Even though you say he's the balladeer, what are we planning on doing? Stealing his sunsetias? Isn't that a bit too cruel? Oh, all right. This should be enough. Hmm. Ah, guess I should wash them before. Huh? You two over there. Is there something I can help you with? <laughs> he spotted us. You've been following me all the way from the city. I'd have to be blind not to notice. <clears throat> Interesting. <clears throat> One sec. So it's a little. <clears throat> been recording all day. Ah, <sighs> have we met before? <clears throat> <clears throat> no, we haven't met. But you know me. I have no recollection. Sure. Sorry, but I just can't take your word for it. A puppet? What makes you think that? Huh? <gasps> you were right! The look on his face! I guess you do know me after all. That is not something I share with a lot of people. Look, I'm just a wanderer. But seeing as you've gone through all this trouble to track me down, I'm sure whatever it is must be important. Okay, but please let me deliver these goods to my boss first. Are you really working for that guy? He said you don't want any more for it. Is that true? Yes, I ran into him out in the wilderness during a storm. And he let me take shelter in his cart. In return, I said I'd be his helper for a while. That's oddly nice of you. Let me take these back. Then I'll come with you, okay? Then let's return to the city. Can we skip? Nope. Okay. Alright. I thought they would just teleport us there and be like, Yo boss, I'm leaving. But I guess it was not meant to be. We gotta run all the way there. Here you go, boss. I'll leave them right here. Oh, you really went and picked some more? Hmm. Who are these two? Something's come up, and they need to borrow me. Sorry, boss. I'm afraid I'll be away from the stall for a while. <sighs> I was just about to pay you anyway. Go wherever you want, kid. Don't waste your time here. What? I get it, okay? You just wanted to help me out, to thank me for giving you shelter from the rain that day. Even then, I don't understand why you're so adamant that you don't want any pay for it. But look, it was pouring down and there you were, sauntering along without a care in the world. Like you had nowhere to be and didn't even care that it was raining. Imagine you were me for a second. It's a little weird, right? Why is this guy traveling during a rainstorm if he's not trying to get somewhere? And why is he taking a shortcut through the open country if he's not even in a hurry? Uh... But anyway, taking you in didn't put me out even slightly. You don't owe me a thing for it. Certainly not all this. Your time is valuable. You know, you should go live your life. The wisest words ever. Your time is the most valuable thing. But I don't... No, you're right. Then I suppose this is where we say goodbye. Thank you again for taking me into the city. Don't mention it, kiddo. I've run into all kinds of characters over the years. I just hope you find your path. Thank you. All right, done. Thanks for waiting for me. We can go now. Okay. Be nice if they just fast traveled us there, I'm just saying. Alright. Do I regret not pulling on Wanderer? As a free to play, I regret nothing. I had a tough choice either the Wanderer or Rain Shogun. Sometimes the toughest choices requires the greatest sacrifice. I'll pull for him on his rerun, hopefully. Unless he's paired with Ganyu, then 
Rest in peace. I have to choose Ganyu. Nahida! Nahida! What's wrong? Huh? Are you? Hello. I do apologize for the sudden intrusion. We found this guy in the street, but he doesn't seem to remember anything. <laughs> so, yeah, quite an eventful walk. You say that you are trekking across to Vat to train yourself. Hmm. Many other Inazumans who describe themselves in this way call themselves Shugenja. Why do you refer to yourself as a wanderer? Well, it seems more relevant in my case. To me, it sounds like a plant with no roots. But these two claim that they know me, and that I have a hidden past unknown even to myself. I wouldn't call it the past, but rather... Oh, this is a difficult one to explain. I don't like to rely on using terms like this often, but in your case, it seems that it ought to be called a previous incarnation. Oh, like a past life or something? You could say that. Yes, something far more distant than the past. So far away that you cannot perceive it. Okay, I have to ask. What was I like in my previous incarnation? Um... Uh... Oh, okay. I see. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation. If it's that difficult to talk about, I have no doubt it will be just as difficult to hear. But I'll be able to handle it. Please, tell me the truth. Is truth something you care a lot about? Yes. Then I'll be straight with you. In your previous incarnation, you did many things that would be considered evil. You nearly died because of what other people did. And many died because of you. As a non-human being, you hated gods and humans alike. You drifted from place to place, never able to settle, even where you found status and identity. You adamantly believed that you were missing a heart. <sighs> Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear bitter fruit. Sometimes, you have to let parts of yourself go, or you'll never be happy. I gave everything I had. But it barely changed history at all. In terms of the outcome alone, that's true. Hmm. I don't think I can judge everything I've heard purely in terms of right and wrong. Each choice a person makes belongs to a specific place in time. A chain of cause and effect. A cycle of karma and consequence. That is the nature of truth. If one thing is right, its opposite must be wrong. And yet, dichotomies like this are not enough to explain the world in all of its complexity. It seems like my previous incarnation wasn't the most likable individual. <laughs> We're not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, but... Yeah, we weren't your biggest fans. If we were enemies, why are you trying to help me find the truth? Uh, this is so frustrating! This guy's supposed to be our arch enemy, but now he's just some random stranger we met on the street! He's got so much to answer for, but we can't make him talk because he doesn't remember anything! Lesser Lord Kusanali, as the God of Wisdom, I trust that everything you told me must be true. Yes, it's all true. I can even show you the memories themselves, if you're willing. Please, I want to see them for myself. I want to experience my own transgressions. Even though it will cause your present self great mental anguish? Oh, I'm just a puppet. With no heart and no name. There is nothing in this world for me to cling to. To fill the void within me. Except maybe these sins that can never be undone. Very well. As you wish. Wait, shouldn't we go with him? This one's kind of on us for bringing him here. Don't worry. Whatever danger I might face, it's my burden to bear. Traveler, could I ask you to supervise him on my behalf? Oh, good point. Given your, um, 
unique situation, we'd better keep an eye on you. Understood. <sighs> Thank you. Now, prepare yourselves, everyone. Okay, let us go. Um, we should be fine, right? No healer required. We're going in. Let's go. Can we use him? This looks like Inazuma. Right now, you're in a dream I created using information extracted from your memories. These memories will show you the raw truth. But be aware that enemies may react just like in the real world. Sounds like an immersive experience. It's a good thing we came along. You don't need to do this for me. I don't deserve your protection. We never give up halfway. Well, we had to once, but that was your doing. All right. Wanderer, this is the Shake Pavilion. In your Balladeer incarnation, this is where the Electro Archon placed you after your creation. You had a great many memories here. Is that because this is kind of like his birthplace? You could say that, in a sense. You'll see why shortly. I hear footsteps. This place is huge. I can't believe the landslide didn't fill it in. I wonder who built it. The Crystal Marrow Miners? No, there's no way. Look at this exquisite construction work, and so well preserved, too. No mining crew would be capable of this. Hmm? There's someone passed out on the ground. <sighs> y you're awake. What happened? Uh huh. Not a scratch. And these fine clothes. Who are you? This man is Katsuragi, deputy to Torichiyo's adopted son, Mikoshi Nagamasa. He found the Balladeer in Shake Pavilion and took him back to Tatarasuna. And the rest is history. Well, in the original version of events, Katsuragi was ultimately killed by Nagamasa. Let me get you out of here. Our people are nearby. Hang in there. During the Tatarasuna incident, Niwa was murdered by the doctor disguised as a mechanic. The Balladeer then known as the Kabuki Mono, disappeared not long after. As the second in command at Tatarasuna, responsibility for what had happened fell to Mikoshi Nagamasa. But Katsuragi had sworn lifelong loyalty to Nagamasa after the latter had once saved his life. At Katsuragi's insistence, Nagamasa killed him to put an end to the Tatarasuna incident. <sighs> Katsuragi seems like he was a good guy. He looks like a warrior, but he has a kind face. Why couldn't he live a long and happy life? Hmm. Hopefully this won't take too long. Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Mono. <sighs> it's fine with me. Katsuragi, report to Niwa. Tell him we have someone new joining us. to go. Oh. My bad. Stabilize. Good thing I brought a shield. This is 
is where you were born? It's pretty, but there's nobody here. <coughs> I was abandoned, like you. I lived here for a while at first, but... I'll be back, guys. I gotta help out with something. We can't stay. 